In this short video, we want to talk about Taylor polynomials, specifically the Lagrange form of the remainder, and even more specifically about remembering it. So we won't be talking about the how and why of the Lagrange form, just simply how to remember it, because it might seem like something difficult to remember, but I think we'll see that it's not difficult at all if you look at it in a helpful way. So you'll recognize this here as a Taylor polynomial centered at A and being used to emulate the function f. And this k here just signifies that we're going up to the kth derivative of f. So since we're using this p sub k to emulate the function f, it would be helpful to have a way of talking about how far apart the simulation is from the actual value. So if we compare f of x and p sub k of x, we get a value which we are calling r sub k of x for remainder. Sometimes you might hear that being called the error. And there are different formulas for finding this error. The one we want to talk about is called the Lagrange form of the remainder. And this is the formula for that right here. That is the Lagrange form of the remainder. So, how do we remember this? So, putting all of these conditions aside and just concentrating on how to remember this formula, we could say that at the very least a lot of the stuff that's happening here like these derivatives and f factorials also happen in the Taylor polynomial itself so let's do the following let's just act like we wanted to add one more term to this Taylor polynomial in other words we want to do something that causes us zero memory load okay we're just continuing a pattern we're not having to remember anything if we just wanted to continue the pattern that we had already begun here, then we would now add this term, right? The k plus 1 derivative of f evaluated at a divided by now the k plus 1 uh, factorial and then multiplying by x minus a to the k plus 1 power this time. So let's compare that with the Lagrange form of the remainder. So we see here that they have quite a bit in common. Both of them divide by the k plus 1 factorial. Both of them multiply by x minus i, uh, x minus a rather, to the k plus 1. And both of them use the k plus 1 derivative of f. The only difference being that if we were adding another term to the Taylor polynomial, we would still be evaluating at a, but if we actually want to get the correct value for this error here, we're going to have to use some different value, some value that will between, be between a and x. And in this case, it's called c sub l, or xi sub l. This letter xi just being very similar to the English letter e, which we can think of as just meaning error. And this l, obviously, standing for Lagrange. So that is the only difference between the Lagrange form and just simply adding one more term to the Taylor polynomial. You act like you want to add one more term and you simply sub in the name of the variable that you're using. You might not always see xi, l, you might also just see a t or just a xi alone. In any case, the important thing is just remember that the only difference is at this point here. So that's one way of remembering the Lagrange form of the remainder for 
Taylor polynomials.